Welcome to Align Christ-Centered Yoga. My name is Linda and I'll be guiding our practice today. My question for you today comes out of my book, Your Daily Walk. And the question is this, are you enabling God to use your personality, whether strong and dynamic, humble and quiet, or something in between, to communicate his words to others? Today we're thinking about evangelism, sharing God's word with others. Think about the voice of the prophets and the different voices of the prophets. You have Jeremiah who is frustrated and angsty and um, the weeping prophet. And you have Ezekiel who speaks in these amazing visions. And you have Isaiah who comes at us with a very poetic voice. Think about the authors of the Gospels. Matthew, who gives us the facts in Jewish context, or John, the poet, or Luke, you know, the person who comes in with, with context, the outsider who's looking in, who's sharing everything. Think about Peter and Paul and the boldness with which they spoke to hundreds. And think about Philip, who noticed the one person sitting on the outside reading the word and not understanding it, and Philip's willingness to go to him and to share and give him clarity. What is your voice and how are you using it? Find a seated position, maybe elevating your hips up on a block or a prop. Begin to find a little bit of release in through the creases at the hips there. The muscles of the legs begin to get heavy. Shrug shoulders up to your ears and let them drop. Closing your eyes, begin to find breath. Notice the way the breath is moving through the body and begin to lengthen it and deepen it. And inhaling through the nose, can you inhale all the way down to that pelvic floor? And as you exhale, can you draw the belly in and soften the rib cage? And breathing in and out, feel the movement of the body with breath. Think about the different ways that the body responds to breath. How the body responds when you are breathing rapidly and quickly. How the body responds when you are holding your breath. how the body is responding with this long, slow, deep breath. All of those breaths have purpose and function. Gently drop your chin to your chest and bring your right ear to your right shoulder and your chin forward and your left ear to your left shoulder. Today's flow will be a very basic flow. Just settling into the simplicity of lunges and twists. As you're ready, bring that right shoulder to your right ear. And gently move your nose around in a circle or a number eight. And find the stretch right where you want it to be and let the head get heavy. And today, as you practice, make a special effort to accept your body exactly where it is. To accept your personality, acknowledging that it is God-ordained. Gently draw the chin forward. And then the left ear to the left shoulder. Again, drawing a number eight or a circle with the nose. What are you feeling in the neck, in the shoulders, maybe even in the back? And find that stretch.
As you're ready, let the chin come forward. And taking a deep breath in, let the arms rise up and overhead and exhale and bring them down. And again, you know, connecting breath and movement as the arms rise, letting the gaze rise as well. And as the hands come down, tucking your chin. And two more times here. Just noticing anything that you are feeling up and down the sides of the body, anything in the joints. And then leaving that right hand down, bring that left arm over and just reach towards the wall and come up and over the other direction. And imagine that you're just sliding against an imaginary wall. There's no forward or back movement, just gliding side to side. How at ease are you with your personality traits? As you're ready, release. Bring the hands out to the side and find cat as you draw the belly in and tuck your chin. And as the palms come back, lift the heart to the sky and cow. And back and forth here, cat to cow. One more time, just interlacing the fingers, bringing them forward, rounding the back, dropping the head, staying in cat. And let the hands come down this time and just gently behind you, pressing lightly into the fingertips, begin to open up the front of the body into cow. And release. Bringing blocks to the front of the mat, meet me in table. So fingers are spread wide, knees are underneath hips. Gently find cat and cow. As you find cat, draw the navel into the spine, open up across the upper back. As you find cow, glide forward with the chest, opening up across shoulder to shoulder, finding that arch in the back. One more time here, cat to cow. Meet me back at table, find a strong table, and then round up into a strong kneeling mountain. So engage at the pelvis, the hip points drawing in towards each other, the navel drawing into the spine, the rib cage is connecting, interlacing, drawing down and back. And then exhale, drawing hips back towards heels, whatever that looks like for you. Find child's pose. And inhaling, rise into cow. And round into cat. So two more times here, kneeling mountain to child. Cow to cat. And connecting breath with movement one more time. Breathing in, rise up. Breathing out as those hips draw back. Inhaling into that cow, exhaling to cat. Meet me back in table, take a breath here. Again, you know, just thinking about the connection from wrist to elbow and elbow to shoulder, from knees to hips and feet to knees. And curl the toes under and bring the knees up into the rib cage. And if you have any shoulder discomfort or issues, and you're maybe rotating just slightly so that the first fingers, pointer fingers, are pressing towards the front edges of the mat, the corners of the mat, 
begin to pedal through your feet. Notice what's going on in your legs, in your hips. On that next inhale, let the heels rise. And on the next exhale, let the heels drop down. Engage through the abdominals and breathe. How does downward facing dog feel as you begin your practice today? Breathing in, let that right leg rise high. Drawing the gaze forward, bring the foot between your hands. Begin to gently drop that back knee down and up. And find the stretch in the psoas muscle, you know, maybe in the quadricep, maybe you even feel this you know, in foot mobility or ankle mobility. And as you're ready, just let that back knee drop down and bring the tops of the feet to the mat. Rise up and bring the hands out to the side. So keep the elbows in, the upper arms connected to your side. Cross your hands across the middle. Lean forward, that front knee still over the foot, right over the center of the foot. Open up the arms and come back. So combining a little bit of a rotator cuff release here. Just opening wide, drawing in, also still stretching through that psoas muscle in the back hip. And then as you're ready, just come forward, raise those arms all the way up, find a back bend. And exhale, hands to either side of the foot. Raise the back leg, bring the front leg to the back. Coming through your knees, come to child. Kneeling mountain to child. Gliding the body through the arms into cow, rounding into cat. Curling the toes under, knees into rib cage. Press the hip creases towards where the ceiling meets the wall behind you. Straighten out those legs. Breathing in, the left leg rises high. As the gaze comes forward, the foot comes all the way through the hands. And that back knee drops and lifts. Back and forth here. And as you're ready, just let that back knee drop, top of the foot to the mat, rise up, bring those arms out. So whew, find your balance. As you're ready, those elbows draw in, hands come across, lean a little bit forward, opening up through the psoas, arms open, close as you come back. Feel the spine get a little longer as you come forward. Draw the belly in as you come back. One more time here. And then as you're ready, come forward and stay there and then bring those arms all the way up and find your back bend. And what happens if you put a little more weight right at the base of the big toe of the front foot? And imagine the inner thighs drawing in and towards each other. And exhaling, hands come to either side of the foot. Go ahead and extend through that back leg. This time, float the hips all the way up. Bring the back foot up to meet the front, bending the knees, find forward fold. Shake your head out, no. Shake your head out, yes. Holding on to your elbows, rib cage still touching thighs. Begin to find length in the spine. How is your back responding to this? How do those legs feel? Gently drop the hips back a little bit more. Rise into chair pose. So as you're in chair pose here, go ahead and take your first two fingers to your glutes and glide down maybe just an inch or two with those glutes. Again, Hands to the belly, draw the navel in. Hands to rib cage, soften it. Let those arms come up. 
Rise into mountain pose, hands to heart. Take a breath here. Begin to notice how the feet are connected to the mat. Can you connect at the base of the big toe, the little toe, and the heel, creating a triangle of support in that foundation? Imagine the arch of the foot rising up. Simultaneously drop the hips down and feel the body rising up and out of the hips. Inhaling arms rise, exhale forward fold. Taking a deep breath in, come up halfway, back is parallel to the floor. Exhale, come down one leg back and then the other, meet me in plank. And from plank, this time drop to your knees and come down to the mat in a kneeling plank. And bring those forearms to the mat. Inhale up into Sphinx pose. Exhale out of it. Two more times here, pressing down with the forearms and the feet, rising with that collarbone. Come into Sphinx and stay here. And as you open up across the chest and as you find the work in the back, think about the last time that you had a deep conversation about faith with someone. And think about what that environment was and what made that comfortable for you and what made that uncomfortable for you. One more breath here. Exhale down, hands to rib cage, draw back to child. Come through table and curling the toes under, meet me in down dog. So here we are in downward facing dog. You've done that first lunge sequence. Just check in. Notice how this feels. The next inhale, the right leg rises high. As the gaze comes forward, the foot comes all the way through. Press into your left hand. Raise the right arm up in a twist. Maybe the arm stays here. Maybe the hand comes back to the small of the back. Where, where do you find the best support? And where do you find the best twist? Release, bringing feet to either side of your foot and you know, maybe using blocks here, maybe you're long enough and flexible enough that you don't need them. Begin to straighten and bend the front leg. And find a hamstring stretch. And just exhale and let the body fold over the leg. Again, just noticing, you know, where are the toes facing in the back and can they face forward? And imagine the inner thighs drawing towards the center of the mat and up towards the pelvis. Can you find a different neck release? Maybe the back of the head reaches a little more towards the mat. Gently lunge that front leg forward, hands to either side of the foot. Bring that foot back. Stay in full plank for a breath. And then draw the knees down. Come down in kneeling plank. Find that sphinx pose again. Exhaling, come back to child. And as you're ready, meet me in Downward Facing Dog. On the next inhale, the left leg rises high. Same sequence, the gaze comes forward, the foot comes all the way through. This time you're going to press into that right hand, wrist un directly underneath the shoulder as that left arm rises. Maybe that top hand comes to the small of the back, maybe even into a full bind. So 
how are your feet connected to the mat? Maybe that back heel can reach a little further back towards that wall behind you. Unwind the arms and exhale and begin that hamstring stretch, straightening and bending that front leg. As you're ready, just extend the leg, let the body flow over the leg. Looking behind you, where are the toes pointed? How does this side feel compared to the stretch on the other side? As you're ready, go ahead and float the leg forward. The uh, front leg lunges, back foot comes up to meet the front. Forward fold. Shake your head out. No, shake your head out. Yes, this time just let those arms hang down. And hands to shins come up halfway. Nice flat back. Fold back down over. And then as you rise, you know, when you come to that halfway point, keep that back straight as you rise up. Palms together, hands to prayer. Check in. How does the pose feel? How are the feet connected? Hands to the small of the back, find a back bend. And inhaling, arms rise, exhaling, forward fold. Stay here for another breath. And hands to shins come up halfway. Hands come back down to the mat, feet come behind you, hold your plank. So again, coming down and maybe you are still in low plank. If you want to try grasshopper, the hips come back a little bit. The chest comes through the arms. You come into a low cobra. Exhale your way back to child. Inhale to table and find your way back to downward facing dog. So let's stay here for a moment. Pedal through your feet again. Taking a deep breath in, bring the heel all the way up and just Exhale down and press the heels back and just notice where they go. And maybe the thighs can press back just a little bit more. Maybe the rib cage can drop just a bit more. On the next inhale, the right leg rises. Gaze comes forward, foot comes through. This time, rise up into a high lunge. And just sink into the lunge a little bit more so that Front thigh is parallel to the floor. That back leg is lifted. Bring the hands out to the side and engaging through the abdominals, twist from the abdominals, upper body twist towards the inside of that front leg. Drop the back arm, lift the front. Look down over that back shoulder. Exhale. Both hands come to either side of the front foot. Straighten it out and find your hamstring stretch. Pivot towards the wide edge of the mat. Bring your arms forward here. Find a downward facing back here. Nice deep breath in. Can you press evenly through your feet here as well? base of the big toe, little toe, and the heel. And even here, feel those arches rising up a bit. Go ahead and pivot towards the front. Bring the back foot up to meet the front. Find forward fold with me. Hands to shins, come up halfway. Exhaling, come down, pressing through the feet, rise all the way up. Hands to heart. 
connect the hands, the thumbs to your sternum. And from here, find your back bend. So imagine that the front of the body, the hips and the legs are pressing against the wall in front of you. So they're nice and straight. So, you know, there's no bending back until you get to your back. Right? So the front of the body stays connected to that imaginary wall and you're bending back from the hip, from above the hip. And release. Deep breath in, arms rise. Anchor from those abdominals. Forward fold. Hands to shins, come up halfway, exhale down. Meet me in plank, stay in plank for a breath. Maybe the hips drop just a little bit, nice straight line. If I had a yardstick, it would you know, connect from the neck all the way down to the hips with those slight neutral curves of the spine. And then however you choose to, come down to the mat. Find your back bend. Come back into child. And meet me in downward facing dog. How does the right side of the body feel compared to the left? Always checking in, just getting comfortable with what it is. Left leg rises. Gaze comes forward, foot comes all the way through the hands, rise up into that high lunge. Find your balance, that front foot anchored to the mat. That front shin right above the ankle. Arms come out to the side, find balance as you twist to the side. Dropping the back arm, lifting the front. Maybe you can sink another inch into that lunge. Cartwheel and bring the hands down to either side of the foot. Straighten out that front leg. The head come down, shake it out. And then bend the front leg and float the back foot up. Forward fold. Stay here in forward fold. Just notice how the hands are connected to the blocks or the mat. How much the legs are bent. How has forward fold shifted for you? Shake your head out no and yes. Hands to shins, come up halfway. Exhale down. Sink the hips, come up into chair pose. Hands to heart. So let's find a low twist from here. So first, you know, are those knees even? One is not in front of the other. Can you maintain that as you find your twist? So you're gonna hinge forward, spine parallel to the floor, and then bring that bottom arm across the leg and find the twist that's right for you. So, you know, this feels Best for some people, you know, maybe you're in a higher twist. That's okay. To protect wrists, you can make a fist with this bottom hand. You'll see me do that periodically. Exhale, come all the way down. Come into forward fold, so just straighten out the legs. Hands to shins, come up halfway. Exhale down. Sink the hips, rise into chair. Engage through the abdominals, let the shoulders drop, hands to heart. You're going to find your twist on this side. So again, you're just going to hinge forward at the hips. The twist is an upper body twist. These knees stay right where they are. So there is often a tendency to let this outside knee come forward. You know, resist that, keeping the hips square. Again, just finding the stretch that's right for you. One more breath here. Exhale, hands down in between the feet in prayer, rise all the way up to mountain. 
hands to heart. Stay here and check in. How are the feet connected? How does the body feel? Can you feel the beating of your heart with your hands? Breathing in, arms rise, exhaling, forward fold. Hands to shins, rise up halfway, exhale down. One leg back and then the other, find plank. And from plank, find your way down to the mat, however you choose to do that. Maybe you go directly to downward facing dog. Maybe you come through child first. Meet me in downward facing dog. On the next inhale, right leg rises high. Gaze comes forward, foot comes all the way through. Take a deep breath in as the arms rise. Pivot into warrior two. So from warrior two, your arms, your wrists are just a couple of inches below the shoulders. That front knee is not leaning in towards the mat, but it is directly over the ankle. That back leg, foot is parallel to the back edge of the mat. Go ahead and drop that back arm, lift the front. Peaceful warrior. Let that front arm come down, side angle bend. And two more times here. Can you keep the legs stable and do the work from the abdominals? As you're ready, meet me back in warrior two. Bring the feet to the wide edge of the mat, the hands to the wide edge of the mat, fingers to the hip crease, fold forward. And this time, just bring those hands just slightly forward of the feet. And let the elbows start to drop down. And just notice how low you go. How straight are the legs? Can you press down with your feet? feet as you lift with your hips. One more breath here. And as you're ready, pivot forward. Go ahead and float the back foot up to meet the front. Forward fold. Drop the hips, rise into chair. Hands to heart. Bring the hands down and all the way up. Come into mountain. This time find a back bend. Arms together, palms together. Or maybe not. Maybe it's better for your shoulders if those arms are a little bit wide. Exhale, come to mountain. Take a breath here, realign. One more breath in, forward fold. Hands to shins, come up halfway, take a deep breath. Exhale down, find plank. And from plank again, find your way down to the mat wherever you are. Maybe you're still in kneeling plank and sphinx. Maybe you're in chaturanga and upward facing dog. Again, either going directly to that downward facing dog or coming through child and then into downward dog. Notice the effects of that warrior two sequence. How does the right side of the body feel compared to the left? On that next inhale, the left leg rises high. Gaze comes forward, foot comes all the way through the hands. Rise up into your lunge, pivot into your warrior. 
Readjust if you need to, bringing that front leg a little forward or back. Strengthen through the abdominal wall. Go ahead and drop that back leg, lift that front. And come up and over and find your side angle bend. So back and forth here. Are you still moving with breath? Are you modifying to work within whatever limitations you have today? Are you comfortable with that? Get comfortable with that. One more time. Peaceful warrior, side angle bend, meeting me in warrior two. Straighten out the legs, bring the toes towards the wide edge of the mat, hands face forward, and then hands down, fingers to hip crease, engage the abdominals to support you as you fold over, forward fold. So this time, just let those hands walk behind you and reach the fingertips all the way back and, you know, maybe the back of the head can come down a little closer to the mat and if you're on the mat, can you keep the weight out of the head? So, you know, head is supported, but without a lot of weight in it. As you're ready, bring the palms forward and pivot around towards the front edge of the mat. One final time, bring that back foot forward, find your forward fold. Hands to shins, rise up halfway, exhale down. Come into chair pose, sinking the hips, body floating up. And then pressing down through the feet, rise in the mountain. And let the hands come back behind you. So interlacing the fingers here, let those elbows go wide, engage through the abdominals, go ahead and bend the knees a little bit, hinge forward, maybe the rib cage touches the thighs as those arms come overhead. Maybe the legs straighten out a little bit more, so it's more of a forward fold. One more breath here, inhale and exhale. One more inhale, stay in forward fold, exhale, let those hands come down to the floor, stay here for a breath, hands to shins, rise up halfway, exhale down, one leg back and then the other, find plank, this time from plank, dropping down to your knees, child to table twice, can you connect to your breath? And then come into child and stay there. And as you come into child's pose, find the right child's pose for you. So maybe you have a blanket underneath the knees to make it a little more comfortable, or maybe those knees are out wide. Maybe the hands are behind you. One more breath here. As you're ready, gently press into your hands and rise up. Go ahead and bring the feet in front of you. Come down onto your back. Take your feet out wide. So hands are out to the side. 
And then just gently with the feet wide, begin to drop one knee towards the center of the mat and then the other. So we did, you know, a number of upper body twists. Here's a lower body twist. And as you're ready, just let that right knee drop to the center of the mat and stay there. And, you know, if it feels better, you can support one or both knees with blocks or blankets or props. And if you want a little bit more stretch, you can take that opposite hand down, palm to your hips, and just, you know, reach up and overhead. So if my right knee is tilted in towards the center of the mat, then my right arm is reaching behind me. And as you're ready, bring the hand back out to the side and engage the abdominals and Gently bring the legs in, and this time before you do anything else, just bring both knees in. Let the hands come down to your side and stay there for a breath. And then bring the arms out and bring the legs out wide again and just drop the other leg to the center of the mat. And maybe that's enough for you, you know, or maybe that other arm comes up and over and reaches. Right, you decide. And then engaging through the abdominals, you know, just bring that arm back out to the side gently, let the knees come up. And this time, walk the feet in, draw the knees in, and give yourself a hug. So as you settle here, as you give yourself this hug, you know, embrace all of the different quirks of personality that you have had since you were a child. How can you use those to share the love of God with others? As you're ready, come to center, hands to knees. Just gently move the knees into the rib cage and away from the body. One foot down and then the other. Extend the legs long. Bring the hands up, palms facing in towards each other. Reach the shoulders up and let the shoulders thump down and do that twice more. Just let the arms fall softly down at the hips. And find your breath. And stay here, eyes closed. And as you settle into Shavasana today, I'm going to read to you. So this is from the book, Come Away, My Beloved. And the scripture verse is from Acts, and it's the story of Philip reaching out to the Ethiopian. He went down to the city of Samaria and preached Christ to them. And the multitudes with one accord heeded the things spoken by Philip, hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. And then the author writes, as if from God to you. Oh, my child, let me speak to you and let my spirit direct your life. I may lead you in unexpected ways and ask things of you that are startling, but I will never guide you amiss. Do not walk according to your natural reasoning, but obey the promptings of the spirit. Be obedient to my voice. I need those who will be flexible in this way because a multitude of souls are searching for me and would never come into contact with me in a personal way through the channels of the organized church. You shall go as Philip went at the direction of the Spirit into the places that are out of the way and bring light on my word to those who are in need. 
stay in an attitude of prayer and faith. And I will do all the rest. Gently bring yourself back to this time and this place. Reconnecting with breath, notice the way that your body has settled onto the mat. Gently begin to bring movement, wiggling fingers and toes, rotating wrists and ankles, turning your head side to side from the top of one ear up and over to the top of the other. And on that next breath in, bring arms up and overhead and just stretch as long as you can. Fingers to one wall, toes to the other. And gently draw your knees in and roll over onto your side and stay there for two breaths. On that next breath, press into your hands and eyes still closed, come to a sitting position. Settling into your sitting bones, sitting comfortably, checking in body, mind, and soul. Noticing what has shifted and changed since you started your practice today. What has stayed the same? On your next breath in, arms rise high, palms together, and exhaling, bring hands to heart, bowing your head in prayer. Holy God, we thank you for the way that each of us is uniquely made. For our strengths, our weaknesses, our quirks, our personalities, we thank you, God, that each of us has a purpose laid out from the beginning of time and that you are working through us to accomplish that as we move in those ways that you call us in obedience to you. Whether we are outgoing or shy, whether we love being in front of people or prefer deep one-on-one -on -one conversations. Help us, God, give us the courage to share your word and your love wherever we go. It is in the name of Jesus the Christ that we pray. Amen. Thank you for sharing your practice with me today.